I just found this AI agent that could replace your assistant. It's called Deep Agent and it's a cheaper alternative to Manus. I've been testing it and I'm pretty shocked at what it could do. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's capable of so you can add it to your AI tool belt. If we haven't met, this channel is AI for non-techies. I test AI tools every single day so you could rely on me to figure out what you should use. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, I'm inside of Abacus AI and this is where the Deep Agent actually lives that I'm gonna demo in this video. However, I wanna mention that Abacus AI has a whole bunch of different AI tools. So for example, think of it almost like a Swiss army knife for AI. So it has route LLM, which essentially has access to all these different large language models. We have GPT, we have Claude 4, we have Claude 3.7, we have Claude 4 Opus, Gemini, DeepSeek, all of these different AI large language models bashed into one. We have image generation via GPT image, Flux, Dolly, all of these different kind of features here. And that works in conjunction with the deep agent, which I'm going to be going over in this video. All right. So if I come over to the left hand side, you could see this tool here called deep agent. I'm going to click on this and right here, you can see we have this interface that says, what do you want to do? Deep agent is capable of creating apps, documents, and pretty much any task. So let's put that to the test and see if that is actually a true statement here. All right. So for my first use case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use deep agent to actually help me find an apartment or a house in Denver, Colorado. So I'm actually looking to move to Denver this fall and I'm going to see if deep agent can actually help with that. So I have this prompt here and let me read this off real quickly before giving it this task. Your job is to help me find an apartment that fits my specifications, find the top 10 places based on my preferences, and then create a fully detailed presentation with each of the options, include images of the places along with information such as square feet, bedrooms, price, etc. And then I basically break down my specifications here. So I'm looking to rent a two bedroom townhouse slash apartment in Denver, two bedrooms over 1100 square feet, prefer a townhouse, but apartment is fine. Budget of $3,500 per month, newer construction or remodel. So this is basically the prompt I'm going to give it. And let me go ahead and send it off. And what it's going to begin doing is it's going to do deep research on this. So let's take a look at how this actually functions. All right. So right now it looks like it's actually gathering data on Denver rental properties. So I'll be interested to see kind of the different research that it does. And I'll take you through as it actually does this. All right. And just like that, about 10 seconds later, it's actually searching through all of these different websites here. So it's going through Zillow, which I was actually looking at personally the other day. It's going through apartments.com, truly for rent.com. So I could click on all of these and see exactly what it's looking at. You can see that I actually searched Denver, Colorado with my exact specifications here, which is pretty interesting. So one thing I want to mention is not only is it actually doing the deep research here, actually browsing through these different websites, finding an apartment or a townhouse based on my specifications, but what it's going to do, it's actually going to take this information and almost have like a detailed report on all the findings that it finds. And then it's actually going to go ahead and turn this into a presentation. So it's almost going to be like a slide deck for myself, kind of basically breaking down to me each of these different options, the best options that it found, including information on square footage, pricing, location, etc. So that is one of the powers of using the deep agent inside of Abacus AI. So I'm excited to see what it gives us. All right. After a couple of minutes, it actually gave us a detailed report with all this information. So you can see we have the top 10 Denver rental properties report. There are 10 different properties. We got Skyline 1801. It breaks down the address, the type, the rent, square footage, bathrooms, the year it was built, key amenities. So it's even breaking down some more of the things that I didn't even specify in my prompt. So that's pretty great. It gives a contact information. It also uploads an image. Okay. So that's just that singular image there. However, it did that for 10 of these different townhouses or apartments, which all look to fit within my initial specification. So that is absolutely absolutely great. It's breaking down market insights, recommendations, neighborhood highlights of each of these different places. So that is really cool. I don't need to go ahead and do all this information searching myself. So now that deep agent did that, it's basically asking how many slides would we like for this presentation? I'm thinking around 15 or 20 slides is what it says. Let's do 15 or 20 slides. Okay. So now it's going to begin taking all of that information that it went ahead and just researched over the last about 10 minutes. And it's going to condense that into a a really nice presentation. So let's go ahead. Let's let this do its thing. And let's see what it comes up with before I show you another use case of the deep agent with inside of Abacus AI. All right. So as it's going ahead and actually creating this presentation, it looks like it's actually trying to pull different images from these different apartments and townhouses that it actually pulled up. However, if you come down here, you can see that this generating image tool actually went down here. So you can see the prompt here. So a professional real estate photography of a Denver rental market overview. So it went ahead. It looks like it actually use the image generation from OpenAI to actually generate this using the 4.0 image generation. So that's
that's pretty cool that it not only can do the research, but it could actually generate images using whichever image generation model it thinks is best. So that's one of the great things about this product is it's not tied down to just one singular, for example, like image generation or video generation tool. It has access to all these top different platforms that everybody's using. All right, so it looks like it went ahead and gave a draft of kind of how this is gonna look for each of these different slides. And it's basically asking what type of presentation style do I want? Let's just go ahead and run with, let's say I want it just to be professional. Let's just click submit and let's see what it gives us. All right, guys, take a look at this. So right here we have our presentation that our deep agent actually created. So let's go through it. We have our top 10 Denver rental properties, two bedrooms, 1100 plus square feet, under $3,500 per month, newer construction. So, so far looking pretty good. Okay, let's see. So property number zero, which I guess this should be property number one. We have Highlands 32 apartments. It shows our rent. It shows the size, shows amenities. It shows key highlights. It shows square footage, property type, address. Guys, this looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and keep going through this presentation. So we have 1200 Colorado. Looks like it didn't actually pull the image of this one. That's okay. It shows our rent, our size. Again, like this is pretty awesome. The fact that it's able to do all this research itself and then actually pull this and plug this into a presentation. So let's continue through all of these. This one actually looks pretty good. I'd consider this one. This one also looks pretty solid. All right, let's just go to the end here and see what the end of this looks like. Okay, so it's actually breaking down the different locations that are good for me to check out. So we have Sloan's Lake, which is actually an area that I've been looking at. It shows our rent prices here. It's showing key highlights of Sloan's Lake area. Same thing with Rhino and the Lohi district, kind of breaking down some of the cool highlights here. So that's pretty great. I mean, this isn't like a super detailed presentation. However, if I wanted to get more specific with my prompt, it probably would have been a little bit more specific here, but this is pretty amazing. The fact that I was able to generate this using the deep agent, you can see recommendations, next steps. And this is cool that it actually has the action items here. So schedule property viewings for top three choices. It's showing market summary, the average rent or the range, amount of properties that are in my budget here, showing luxury options, the perfect match, best overall value. That is pretty cool, guys. The fact that I was able to do this. And then now I wanna show you how I could actually deploy this to its own website if I wanna share it with somebody, for example. All right, so if I come up here, I have this purple button here that just says deploy. And what I could do, actually give it a name. So Denver Apartments, click deploy. Looks like it already deployed. And then what I could do is I could literally just go to this little URL here. And this is now its own website that I could go ahead. I could send it to somebody. For example, if I want to send this kind of app or this website to my girlfriend, so she could like confirm if she likes any of these apartments or townhouses, for example, that is very easy to do. I just send this link here and she has access to it. All right. So that is use case number one. However, I want to go through use case number two and this is the prompt that I'm going to give our deep agent here. So I'm actually booking a trip to Portugal, July 1st through 6th here, and I need help finding some Airbnbs. So basically I said, you are a travel expert. I have a trip that I'm planning to Portugal, July 1st through the 6th. Your job is to find the best Airbnbs based on these specifications. We want to be close to the beach. We want to have the place all to ourselves. Want it to be newer if possible, close to some restaurants and coffee shops. And I put my budget for $200 per night. And I basically said they have to be Airbnbs and I want it to give me the link to each of these regarding the, the place. So I'm going to shoot this off. It's going to go ahead and do the same thing it did for the previous example. It's going to be doing some deep research and going to kind of curate all this data for me. It's actually asking me for a bit more specifications. Let's just say, let's just go for it. A feature I really want to mention while it's going ahead and actually researching some Airbnb listings here is it actually has the ability to browse on a computer browser. So it kind of functions similarly to Manus. You can see you could open up a web browser here. I could pull up Chrome, for example, or if I have a specific task that it needs to actually search the internet for, you could see that it actually is able to pull this information up. So in my search history, you could actually see that it was looking up the top 10 Denver destinations, as well as it was searching on Zillow for these different kind of uh, townhouses that I was looking for. So if you wanna go ahead and have this fill out certain things or I don't know, do things in your browser, it has the ability to do that. All right, that took a couple minutes. You could see it went ahead. It did some comprehensive research here. It accessed the web. It was looking at Airbnb. Let's take a look at what it was actually looking at. Okay, so I was looking at different apartments here. Okay, cool. So all I want to focus on here is the document that actually created us. So if I open this, you could see here that it actually has this here. So it's showing 
our executive summary. It's showing key findings, recommended properties. So this is pretty great. However, it didn't go ahead and actually provide the links to these, which I asked it for. So let's just say, I want you to go ahead and provide the links for each of these different Airbnb listings so I could take a look at them. All right, I'm gonna give it that and let's see if it's able to add that. It should be pretty easy. Just like that, it quickly went ahead and added the link to each of these different listings here. So let me just double check these. That looks, oh, this actually looks like a pretty awesome um, apartment here. So great. Now we have this full broken down PDF document here with all of these different stays and I didn't have to do any of the research here. All right, so let's talk about pricing. You could sign up with the $10 per month plan to have access to all the AI models inside of Abacus AI that we discussed earlier on in this video that includes ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, image generation, etc. Basically all the AI tools you could think of and that will give you three free deep agent runs or tasks that you could actually perform. If you wanna use a deep agent tool more hands-on, you're gonna to wanna to upgrade to the $20 per month plan, which gives you access to about 25 deep agent tasks, which depending on how much you use it should be enough for you. The reason I even wanted to showcase the deep agent tool is because it's a great cheap alternative to some of the other platforms out there like GenSpark and Manus. So I wanna basically cover all these different AI tools that you can use. And then it's up to you to kind of figure out which one works best based on what you need out of it. So guys, with that being said, I hope you guys got some value from this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more AI platforms that I cover just like this one. And I'll make sure to see you guys in the next video.